Hey everybody, it's Jeff Short with Chauvet DJ with a product spotlight on lasers. Another product that we have many different models of and that can sometimes confuse people a little bit when they're in the market for a laser. So I wanted to kind of just spend a few minutes here talking about the differences so that you can figure out which laser might be right for you. Our lasers start with this sort of entry level group here. They're smaller in size and it starts with this model here, which is the Min Laser RG. This is your entry level basic laser. It plugs into the wall. It doesn't have DMX control or anything. The RG stands for red and green, which is the color of the lasers involved. All of these models use what's called a gradient wheel that turns within them, creating the different combinations of laser effects that we're all familiar with seeing on ceilings and walls when we project these things. In a fog or haze environment, it makes a really dramatic effect. But even if you're not in a haze or fog environment, they can make some really cool patterns against a wall or ceiling, creating a kind of a cool backdrop canvas for your events. The next models here step up a little bit because they're a part of our Easy series. That means they're battery powered, obviously. You can plug them in as well. But this one here is the Easy Laser RB. RB, of course, red and blue. So the lasers are a little bit slightly different color. Battery powered, you get about six hours or so on a fully charged battery. This next model is the Easy Laser RGFX. RG, of course, stands for red and green, so that's the color of the beams coming out. But this model, in addition to being battery powered, has an effects gradient wheel. That means as the wheel turns, it creates a whole different array of effects projecting through air, which makes really dramatic aerial effects in haze and fog, or really cool designs against a wall or a ceiling as well. So these three lasers are sort of your entry level level group of lasers. Then we move on to these bigger models that do a few other things and have some additional features. Starting with the Scorpion Storm FX RGB. The first feature that you'll notice, obviously, which is a huge one, is DMX control. DMX in and out, and that's with all of these fixtures in the Scorpion line. They also have power linking, which saves a lot of time running cables between fixtures, which is a huge convenience. The Scorpion Storm FX RGB, obviously RGB is red, green, and blue. Those are the colors of your lasers. The DMX control gives you control over what colors are happening out of that laser, as well as the rotation of it. This uses an effects gradient wheel, just like this one, the Easy Laser RGFX. So that they have in common, the DMX control and the control over the colors and rotation, they do not, as well as the power linking. Moving on to the Scorpion Duel, this uses a little bit different technology. It uses mirrors to create the images. It has two beams coming out at the same time. They're green in color and you can control the effect of those beams coming out, the rotation and how the effects appear on the walls and ceilings and through the air in a haze and fog environment. This uses fat beam technology, which makes the beams seem a little stronger and brighter than they actually are. This prevents you from having to get a variance, which is a special license when lasers get too powerful because they can be harmful when they're used improperly. None of these in the Chauvet DJ product line of lasers require a variance, and it's technology like this that helps prevent that. Finally, we move on to the Scorpion Bar RG. This is the newest member of the Scorpion family, and you can see it's got a unique array configuration. It's got four windows that also use mirror technology, just like the Scorpion Duel. It features two red and two green lasers, DMX in, DMX out, power linking, all the things you can control with the Scorpion Duel, you can also do with the Scorpion Bar RG. And it also uses fat beam technology as well. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight into the differences between these lasers. And maybe you can decide which one might be right for you. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Jeff Short, and we'll see you next time.